Welcome to MBS Sharing Dance with Seniors. I'm John Dowrimple, Executive Director of Canada's National Ballet School and your host for today's event. June is Seniors Month and we're celebrating you. With this event being broadcast for the first time, we're showcasing how the joy of dance connects us all. And no one knows more about the power of dance than Mavis Staines, Artistic Director and CEO of Canada's National Ballet School. It's great to see you, Mavis, from a safe distance. From a safe distance, it's great to see you too. And a hat to cover the... <laughs> doesn't matter. It's such a pleasure to be here, as I said, with you to kick off this inaugural event for our older adult dancers. Although this is a unique event during unique global circumstances, what I know for sure is that dance is a universal language, a language that has the power to connect us and lift us when we most need it. It is a soul-stirring boost to one's spirits. NBS has witnessed the life-changing impact of dance for 60 years. This knowledge is what drives our commitment to making dance a part of all Canadians' lives, especially older, ad older adults whom we are celebrating today. We know how the artistry and physicality of dance help seniors develop skills and confidence while also enriching their day-to-day -day lives. That's right, Mavis. I'm fortunate to know and to call friends many of the seniors who dance here on the MBS campus. We'll hear from some of these dancers today, as well as from people who participate from all across the country. Do you know, that's why I love what today's event is all about. The digital format speaks to our interconnectedness and the strength that we derive from community, particularly during times of hardship like these. My biggest wish is that you and your loved ones will join the many, many others who are dancing along in their homes, collectively sharing this magical experience. Have a wonderful time. That's right. You don't just get to watch, you get to dance. Thank you, Mavis. It's now my pleasure to welcome your dance teachers and musicians for today's event, Megan Ferris and Cherise Solomon, with the very talented Craig Wincrove as your pianist. Hi everyone, I'm Megan. I'm Sharice. I'm Craig. And we are thrilled to be taking you through a series of seated dance sequences today. Before we begin, make sure you have enough space around you to dance today. Just enough that you're able to reach one or both arms out sideways. Sharice and I have <laughs> made sure that we have lots of distance between us and we're socially distanced. And then also check that you can reach those hands out in front of you and that you have the space to move your feet along for some of our dancing today. As we go on, there's no right or wrong. We want you to have fun and dance along. So if you're using a different arm or a different leg than we are, that's fine. Feel free to modify as we go and as you need. Let's begin by warming ourselves up today. So we'll start facing our palms down, and then we'll bring them up. Palms down and up. That's it, just an easy switch of the hands back and forth. And then we'll bring that energy in, reach it out. In, reach it out. And this can reach up high or low, anywhere that you'd like. All right, and we'll try that again, and then we'll get ourselves moving a little bit more. So let's also try this one together. We'll reach our arms outside. We'll give ourselves a nice warm hug today. You can let your spine relax and then we'll unfold those arms. They can be up above you or in front of you. So you can choose the height of those arms today. We'll get our feet moving a little bit around the space and then we'll finish today by taking a nice breath together, reaching those arms up, bringing the palms together and lowering to our heart. All right, so you can follow along with us. Here we go, ready? And. Starting with those palms down and up. That's it, reversing. A nice gentle movement. Bring that energy in, reach it out, and you can reach it anywhere that you'd like. And we'll go back to our palms down and 
up. That's it. Almost like you're conducting an orchestra. Palms. Got a nice wave to our arms. Bring the energy in and out. And you can make this a little bit bigger this time. Great. Reaching your arms out sideways. And give yourself a nice hug. And then unfold the arms. That's it. Try that again, reaching the arms out. And let your spine relax. And then open the arms. Good. Let's move to our feet. We'll lift our toes and our heels. Toes. Heels, almost like a rocking chair, rocking back and forth. That's it. Extending one foot out and in. Out, in, out, that's it. Great, back to our rocking feet. Toes lift, heels lift, toes, heels. That's it. Extending, and you can extend your legs side or in front of you. Great. Let's try a little lift of our knees. Lifting one knee and lower. That's it. Good. Keep reaching the top of your head to the ceiling. We'll try a few more just like that. Lifting up and down up and down great up and up we'll take a nice breath with the arms breathing in pressing the palms lower to your heart and we'll open the arms together try that again reaching down Lower, and open. We'll try that two more times together. Lift, and palms. Last one, breath in. Wonderful. I'm feeling warmed up. I hope you are too. Sharice, you feeling warmed up? Doing great, yes. Craig, feeling warmed up? Yes. Great. We're ready to move on. Let's get our arms moving now in something we call port de bras, which is the movement of our arms through the space around us. And we'll have a bit of a story to tell today. We'll think of that beautiful sunshine rising up. So we'll make a nice round shape of our arms and then lift it through the space above us. That's it. And you can choose how high your sun is going today. Maybe it's a, an 11 a.m. sun or a high noon sun. It's up to you. And then we'll open and feel the sun rays shining down on us. Try that again. So we're making that nice round shape of our arms, lifting it up as high as you'd like to go, opening those arms and lowering them beside us. That's great. And always when it's really nice outside, I like to take a nice stroll. So we'll feel a nice swing in our arms, alternating back and forth. That's it. Just a gentle swing. These can be big or a little bit smaller if you'd like today. And while we're out on that stroll, you'll see lots of different things, animals and maybe people on your walk. So we'll take a hand to our heart and we'll open it and really take in the nature and everything that's around us. And then we'll try that on the other side and see all of the wonderful things that are outside today. Wonderful. So we'll try that a couple of times together. And then you might even see a sunset at the end. So be ready, our sunset comes the opposite way, up the side and down the middle. So be ready for a sunrise or a sunset. Let's try it with some music. Here we go, ready? Ah. Creating that round shape in our arms 
as high as you'd like to go today. Opening and lower. Try that again, making that round shape, seeing the sunshine and feeling the sun rays. That's it. And we'll take a little stroll together. That's it. And who might we see? Let's take a look. Good. From the beginning, finding that round shape. That's it. This time, if you'd like to march with your stroll, you can. That's it. And who might we see? Here comes our sunset, arms lift. Try that one again, arms lift. And one final goodbye, opening. Wonderful job, everyone. That one's really nice to dance and feel the space around us. Now let's get our feet moving a little bit. So we've got warmed up, we've got our arms moving, it's time to move our feet. So bring those feet underneath you and a little bit closer together. And we'll start by showing off our heel. And you can imagine that maybe we're getting ready for a night out, a fancy celebration, and we have really fancy shoes on and a fancy outfit too. But we're going to show off those shoes first. So we'll show it off and bring it in. Show it off and bring it in, alternating your feet and in. And then we're so excited that we'll do a little tap on our knees, a clap and arms up. That's it. So we have show off and in, show off and in, show off and in. Then our rhythm goes like this, that's it. And you can choose how you wanna uh, show that final celebration there with your arms. So we'll try that twice through together. Out and in, and you can get your arms moving a little bit with it, that's it. Then our rhythm like so, and again. In, out and in, that's it. Out, in, and our rhythm. Great. Craig, I think let's get in the celebratory mood and try that with some music twice through. Okay. Thank you, yeah. here we go, yeah. ready? And your rhythm. <laughs> that was great. Thank you. Fantastic. Craig wants to keep playing because there's so much more energy and so much more fun to be had. So let's add on to this. And we'll continue to show off that foot, but now our foot really wants to get dancing. So it's going to sneak out to the side. So I'm starting with one part of my foot, my toe, then my heel, then my toe, then my heel, and it's coming back in. Try that on the other foot. So it sneaks away from us, then it sneaks back toward us. That's it. Yes. So this foot is sneaking towards Charisse there, and then it's going to come back to me. Great, fantastic. The other thing we'll try together is called a shuffle. And that's a brush, brush of our toe. So practicing with one foot, we have a brush forward, a brush back, and then a stamp. Try that with the other foot. Brush, brush, in. Brush, brush, in. Brush, brush, in, that's it. So you're only touching the floor, floor slightly, or even if you're above the floor, that's fine too. Brush, brush, in. Brush, brush, in. That's it. Good. I think we've got those shuffles. So the second part of our dance, we'll have our sneaky toe 
out to the side and your arms can get as creative as you'd like and then the other one out that's it and then it comes back in our shuffles do brush brush in brush brush in third one here then fourth five times six times and then we're going to go back to that rhythm that we did at the very beginning tap clap and this one, it's our grand finale, our grand celebration, so you can give it a little bit of a razzle-dazzle at the end. All right? Let's try going from the very beginning and adding on that second part together. All right, here we go. Ready? And... That's it, three of these, and then our rhythm. Sneaky foot out to the side, and then back in the other foot. Let's try those shuffles. Third one, fourth one, fifth, sixth, and let's pause right here. Great. Thank you. Wonderful. Now, that was so much fun. I want to do it one more time together. But I want you to think of that fancy outfit that you might have on. And I know you have the fanciest shoes on today. So let's, before we dance it again, find that starting posture. So lifting the top of your head up just a little bit, finding that spot on your chair where you're not too far forward and not too far back, feeling your feet planted on the floor. That's it. And calm shoulders. Great. Let's give this one one more try together. Ready? And foot goes side, in, side, in. Our rhythm. Sneaky foot. Back in. And the other way. back in. Our shuffles go front and you can add any arms. That's great. Great job. I added one more shuffle there because I was yeah. having so much fun <laughs> with the shuffles. Fantastic. I think we're ready for a celebration. What do you think Sharice? How are we doing? Doing great. I think it's almost time for a break. Yeah, let's take a moment, we'll take a breath, and uh, let's hear more about how you can dance with Canada's National Ballet School. Hello, my name is Rachel Barr, and I'm the Director of Research and Health at Canada's National Ballet School. With me today is Melissa Taffler, Baycrest Arts and Health Coordinator, and Sabina Entim, one of the champion therapeutic recreationists at Baycrest who has been facilitating our joint dance program. NBS, in partnership with Baycrest, has been developing accessible dance programs for older adults since 2014. Programming ranges from entirely seated to seated and standing dance classes offered in person and or via video stream for varying physical and cognitive abilities. This summer, in fact, we are very excited to be launching a version that responds to physical distancing, so you can dance along with us from the comfort of your own homes. The impact of our dance programs for older adults have also begun to be studied, both through Baycrest and a team of researchers led by professors at Trent University and Brandon University. Melissa, you've been leading this initiative at Baycrest really from the beginning. Can you speak about why dance is such an important and meaningful activity for our older adults? Sure, Rachel. Uh, dance is just so uh, unique uh, in the qualities that it possesses, that it offers older adults um, an experience that is uh, really multifaceted. Um, first of all, dance taps into creativity and imagination. So as an activity, um, it allows older adults for a really beautiful and wonderful vehicle for meaning making and self-expression. 
and the opportunity to explore different sides of oneself that we know are so critical and important to healthy aging. At the same time, dance is an inherently physical activity. And we also know that from the perspective of health and well being and healthy aging, keeping older adults moving and keeping engaged in physical activity is also so critically important. And dance does this in such an accessible and fun way, not to mention the role of music, which is so therapeutic and critically um, important in meaningful engagement for older adults. So when we consider all of these different qualities that dance has rolled into one, it really is an incredibly powerful way of offering older adults an experience that contributes to meaningful engagement and also overall health and well being. Um, when we originally um, began to look at the importance of creative engagement for aging and health, um, we and had the opportunity to work together between our two organizations, we knew that we could capture something really unique by combining um, Baycrest's expertise in aging and brain health with Canada's National Valley School's expertise in dance and dance training. And the result has been this program that has expanded across the nation. And now we are so excited to be able to bring it to the homes of people um, during this pandemic, but um, beyond that, um, as a version of dance that is accessible to everyone in, in so many different situations. Thanks so much, Melissa. And Sabina, you've been such a champion of this program um, and its facilitation at Baycrest. You know, you've been dancing along with your clients pretty much since the program began. So can you talk about the meaning and impact of this program for them and for you? Yes, um, I can highlight a little bit. Um, the program started on the floor um, around 2014, right? Um, the, the dance program has really enhanced the resident life. I do have a few residents that still remember the program since 2014. Uh, one of my residents, he, he always say, oh, I remember dancing with you. You know, um, the dance program is so good. It improved their, their mood. Um, they're happier after the dance program. Uh, they're dancing along and sometimes singing the music uh, after the programs. So it has really enhanced their quality of life. Um, they're able, and physically, they're able to um, have the physical activities while they're dancing. Um, yeah, it has really been a good program for them, yeah. Yeah, um, I can speak firsthand as well. I mean, uh, having uh, seen uh, the participants in your, on your floor, it just, it's a highlight, it's a joy to, to dance along in, in such a, a great, uh, uh, experience for all. So thank you so much for, for sharing yeah. um, your insight. And all, yeah, and also just to add, I mean, the idea that I have, I get the opportunity to dance with the resident without not being tax oriented. It's so important. Uh, the idea that the resident are free to express themselves. Um, if they want to uh, go in a high pace, uh, they're able to do it or go to the low pace, they're able to do that also. It has been nothing but uh, phenomenal. Yeah, Sabina, you raised such an important point about the sense of community and the feeling of connectedness that dance has a really wonderful ability to foster. Um, people uh, enjoy it, whether you're doing it for yourself, whether you're helping someone else to dance, but at the same time, um, creating relationships through moving that uh, are really different and um, feel really good. Yes. So thank you so much to both of you for sharing your um, experiences about uh, the Baycrest NBS Sharing Dance Seniors programs. Um, I'm going to turn it over now to uh, Dr. Mark Skinner. So he's been leading some of the, the research about Sharing Dance Seniors in remote and rural Canadian communities since 2016. So I'm going to pass things over to him now. Hi everyone, my name is Mark Skinner. I'm the Dean of Social Sciences and Humanities at Trent University. 
I've been one of the lucky researchers studying the Sharing Dance program since 2016. One thing I've learned most about dance is you have to jump on in and enjoy it. So without further ado, let's go back to Megan for some more dancing. Hi everyone, welcome back. Let's get dancing again. We're going to tell a little bit of a story again with our movement, and it starts by making this round shape with our wrists, almost like you're opening a doorknob. You can imagine that you have that twist in your wrist, that's it. And that is where we're making the shape of a seashell. So we'll try three of those together. We'll make that circle, circle, third time, and then we'll bring our hands together and clap. And then we'll try the exact same thing, rotating the wrists the other way. Rotate, two, three times, and clap. Try that all again. Circle, two, three, and a clap. And then we'll rotate the opposite way, or whichever way feels comfortable to you today, and clap. That's it. So we have this beachy theme going on. We have our seashells, and then we'll have starfish. So the starfish is a different kind of shape of the hand. We were in a fist, and now we're going to reach each fingertip away from each other. So you can feel that with both your hands, really reaching and spreading those hands apart. We'll reach one arm, and you can reach it anywhere in the space that you like. I'm going to reach mine up high, and then bring it in. Middle, and in. Low, and in, and then just like you would see at the beach, a nice big wave with our arms, that water rushing towards us. Try that on the other side. You can reach it anywhere in the space, up high or low, and then we'll take that rush of water together. So we have those seashells and our starfish. Why don't we give that a try with music? Here we go, ready? And... Starting with our seashells, making those circles in the space. And the other way. Really carve out the space. Try that again. Circle. And our starfish reaches. Really reach to the ends of your fingertips. And a wave rushes. And our other side. And we'll take a pause. That's it. And as you're dancing, that wave might rush either in front of you or beside you on an angle so you can choose where that water is today. The third part of our sequence is one of my favorites because you really get to move however you'd like. And it's that feeling of seaweed. And you can see the seaweed and every piece of seaweed is different. So you don't have to look exactly like me today or Charisse. You can follow along with us if you'd like or do something completely different. So your arms can move through the space. You can get your legs moving through the space and just creating that image of seaweed throughout the space today. That's it. You can involve arms or legs in your body as well, moving through the space. Great. The fourth section, so we've had our seashells, we've had our starfish, our seaweed, and then the shark. So we have to get our shark fin ready, and we will find somewhere to extend our shark in the space. And then try that with the other side. One, two, three, and out. One, two, three, that's it. And you can have your shark come towards Sharice and I, or you might have your shark go towards <laughs> someone else, that's it. <laughs> Anywhere that you'd like. If there's somebody sitting across from you today, you can extend your shark towards each other. Great. So we'll add all of those pieces together now. It's a longer dance, so let's just recap really quickly. We start with those seashells. We move on to our starfish, feeling that energy throughout our arm and our fingertips. We have the seaweed 
moving together. And then we have the shark, the final shark together. Okay, let's give this a try from the top. Here we go, ready? Ah. Arms are circling. Three circles. Try that again. Our starfish, reach it out. Bring it in, out and in, out, in and a wave anywhere you'd like. And reach, and in, reach, and a wave into our seaweed. You can start with the arms. And feel free to get your back involved. And your legs. And we'll get set for our shark, finding your fin. And one. And you can find someone in the room. And our last one. <laughs> that was great. Craig, I got you there with the last you shark. Did. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. And the music was so wonderful. Let's chat with Craig a little bit to get his perspective from behind the piano. <coughs> so Craig, tell us a little bit. Uh, how long have you been playing for? Uh, I've been here at Canada's National Ballet School for uh, 29 years now. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. And what have you seen or experienced during that time or, or your time playing? Well, what I love about playing music uh, for dance, any kind of dance, is the uh, reciprocity that happens. As you can see in that dance that we just did, um, I get to play off of Megan's movements. So she has a certain dynamics, articulation and phrasing and is a lot of fun to be sitting behi on the, behind the piano and trying to match what she's doing and I get to feed off the dancer's energy, and then that comes back to me, and hopefully I can put that back into the room as well. So when the two art forms converge like that, the music and the dance, I, I feel it can be so powerful and so much fun and elicit a lot of joy, which I'm feeling right now, just because <laughs> we've done some things. And uh, it's a total joyous thing, and it's creative, and it's physical, and it's a lot of fun, and especially working with the two of you today. <laughs> Yes. I'm so glad you said that, yes. and, and it feels the same for us. You know, when we're dancing and you're playing, I am definitely feeding off you as we're dancing, mm -hmm. and uh, it's so wonderful. Mm -hmm. Cherise, what about you? What do you notice in the studio as you're teaching or dancing? Whenever I'm teaching, I just notice how everyone is smiling. Yeah. Everyone is just happy. They're happy to be moving, and they're just happy just to forget about their daily lives. Mm -hmm. We're just happy to be around each other and just sharing awesome, positive energy. Yeah. And it's so hard not to smile when you're dancing and, and dancing to such wonderful music. That was great. So I think let's head back to our seats here and we'll try this dance one more time. And now that we've heard a little bit about Craig's experience and where his inspiration comes from and how we're feeling, why don't we take that into consideration as we're dancing today? And really listen to the music and see how it feels with each movement that we're doing. All right, so we'll come back to our, our same feeling, lifting your head towards the ceiling, feeling your feet on the floor, taking yourself back to the beach, and we'll start with our seashells. Here we go, thank you. And Into 
are starfish. And away. Your seaweed. Feel free to let the music inspire your movement. And we'll get set for our shark. And our last one. Wonderful. And it was so nice that time to dance along and really understand what Craig was playing and how he was inspired. Let's take another moment to breathe and hear more about Canada's National Ballet School. Now over to you, John. For MBS, the passion for community dance has been a 30-year dream. A torch carried by many dedicated staff who teach in public schools, gyms, cafeterias, and long-term care facilities. In the last 10 years, we've seen this flame grow into a fire, in no small part because of the visionary support of our funders. Longtime champions of the school, Joan and Jerry Lezinski, have been central to the growth of our community programs and the newly funded Lezinski Center for Community Dance at Canada's National Ballet School. This center will ensure that MBS is able to build partnerships across Canada and more and more Canadians of all ages and abilities will have access to the joy that dance brings. We love you, Joan and Jerry. Well, next we have uh, on a Zoom call a very special guest. It's Ruthie calling in from Peterborough County. Ruthie, how are you doing? I'm doing excellent. Thank you, John. I'm so glad we had the chance to connect on this really exciting day. Um, you've been involved in the program for a while, so I'm wondering if you could tell us about your community, where you're from, and, and what your experience has been with dance. Well, as you know, I, I was involved um, from the Ennismore area of Peterborough County from the very beginning of your pilots, and a group of us were involved in restorative yoga locally, so we could get there in seven minutes, and we love that. And then we started working with you, all of us working on things like balance and other things, and we already were a, a good community of friends, but National Ballet School Sharing Dance um, made that even better and bigger and more wonderful, because beyond yoga, we we actually have the music, and 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 the sharing of stories in, in the dance. And so one of the things we love is that it brings us into a wider world, the world that you live in constantly of dance. So in the beginning, I was worried about tripping and falling. I haven't fallen in four years since the program began. And now I do things like I get in and out of the kayak with no problem. Um, my world has expanded. Today I had a uh, public health teleconference that we hold every week and in the middle of that I thought, okay, what am I doing next? So I got off the call, which was all about mind, and then I went to the National Ballet School site and did 20 minutes of sharing dance to sort of get my body involved and, as you know, the soul. So I, I find that in all ways in my life, um, what your sharing dance program has brought to me is absolutely phenomenal. Oh, I'm really delighted to hear that, Ruthie. And, and you mentioned that you're kayaking, and I think that's incredible. When you first came to the program, you're worried about falling, just even walking. And now, thanks in part to dance, uh, you're back in the kayak, so that's incredible. So what advice would you give to an older adult who may be thinking about giving dance a go, who's maybe never tried it before? I would share a story somebody shared with me, actually, at the school. Um, you know, yoga used to be, uh, what is that? What do you do? I think dance is the same, that you think ballet, why would I do ballet? 
Um, but because you have done such research about it and you know that you're involving music and rhythm and movement um, and storytelling and community, which is huge for us in the rural areas, living in our community but staying connected and, and having a great group of people surrounding us, um, try it. Um, it's really worth it no matter what your image is of dance or ballet or anything because in the long run it's better for you um, body, body, mind and soul. Oh, it's beautiful. Now just to wrap up, I wish we could, we could spend the whole day chatting, but just to wrap up, I was wondering if you could tell me in just one or two sentences, if I say the statement, you finish it, dance makes me feel. It makes me feel connected. It makes me feel alive. It makes me feel like I can live in my home forever uh, in a way that I love. Oh, well, Ruthie, it's so good to see you. And I'm so glad you could be a part of this event and looking forward to, to dancing together soon. Thank you. You know, it's mutual. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Earlier on, we had that idea of dressing up with our fancy shoes and we were having a celebration. Then we took a moment, we went to the beach a little bit and now I want you to come back and have that same energy and that feeling of a celebration. Craig's going to play something really special on the piano and I want you to feel that energy and show it in your movements. So we're going to start by reaching our arms. You can reach it up high or you can reach it out beside you and we'll reach it up and then reach it down. So we have one side and then the other side. And then we'll try that in reverse. So we'll reach it up and then down, up, ba, 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 down. That's it. The next part kind of builds. So you can start building low and get as high as you would like. And we have those starfish hands, that energy all the way to our fingertips again. So we'll have reach and two, three and four, and they're gradually getting up higher. And then we have a little dance celebration as we lower those arms. Try that again with me. So we'll build it up nice and high and dance it down. That's it like so. And you can feel free to dance that however you would like. You can get your shoulders involved. You can get your toes tapping. Anything is welcome. All right. Let's try our reaches and that energy in our finger fingertips with Craig. Here we go. Ready? And. <laughs> And the other side, reach it, and down. And reach it, and down. We have that build up, dance it down. One more time, build, and dance it down. Great, I told you he was going to play something special. So we had that fun build with our arms, and then we danced it down, and we have that fun build with our hands and dance it down, that's it. And if you want to keep that in fists, that's fine too, or maybe point one finger, however you'd like to show that today. Now we've got our arms and our hands and our upper body dance and we've got to get those feet involved as well. So I'm going to tap my toe side and in. So it has a little bit of a twist almost like that sneaky fit foot we did earlier, but it's just my toe going back and forth. Yeah, it's going to be a little quicker than that. So you can get that toe moving side to side like so. You can also feel free to just feel that tap of the toe in front of you today or your heel. So lots of options. Feel free to do what's best for you today. Now, you can already see that as my toe is moving, I've got these hands moving too already. So we'll try that with one foot, and then we'll try the same thing with the other foot. However you'd like to move that toe today. If you'd like to tap your hands, that's good too. Uh, and now Sharice, I'm thinking we need one more dance move to finish this one off. Do you have any ideas? How about we do this one? Oh, I, that's a great one. So we'll swim it to the front. Great, so we'll get those toes moving on one side, we'll get the toes moving on the other side, and then we'll feel that swim. That's it with Sharice. Cool, great. Let's try it from the top, adding those two parts on. 
Here we go. Ready? And. Other way. Reach it. Energy goes up. And dance it down. Energy goes up. Dance it down. Toe. And the other way. Feel free to do this slower if you'd like. And we'll swim it. <laughs> Great. Wonderful. Now, I can't let it end there. That was, the build was coming, the energy was coming. We have to keep it going. So after our final move, and you can take this anywhere in the space that you would like, after that final move, it's your turn to be creative and to choreograph part of our dance. So this is the part where you get to make up the moves. So once we get there, you can do some of the moves that we've already done today. You can have those heels going out, those taps. You can get those arms moving in any way that you'd like and create your own part of the dance. All right, so we'll add that on. As you may have noticed, when we were doing those toe taps, you can also try them a little bit slower if you'd like. All right, or you can speed it up. All right, let's take it back to the top and add on that freestyle at the end. Here we go. Ready? Ah. Reach it and down. Feel the energy. Other way, reach it. And we build up. And dance it down. Try that again. Build it up and dance it down. Toes, slow or fast. And the other way. Swim it. Freestyle. was great. That was so much fun. So great to dance with you all. Let's take another breath. We'll take another moment and then we'll get back to some dancing. Hello from Ottawa. I'm Ed Ogonek and I have the absolute pleasure and distinct honor to serve as the chair of the board of directors for Canada's National Ballet School. At NBS, we know that the power of dance can make us stronger in mind, body and spirit at any age. The Government of Canada recognizes and encourages this power of dance through their generous and ongoing support of NDS. Thank you to the Government of Canada for helping all Canadians embrace the joy of dance. I hope you all enjoy sharing dance. Today, we want to hear from you. Visit the event page on the MBS website to fill out a survey about today's event. For the first 100 surveys, we'll send you this t-shirt or a red one. And this summer, we're also piloting a weekly dance class that you can access at home. The pilot program is entirely free, so let us know if you're interested in taking part. Visit mbs-enb.ca. I'd also like to recognize a few important families who've helped the development of this project from when it was initially a pilot all the way to the program that we're delivering across the country now. In particular, I'd like to thank the Jack Weinbaum Family Foundation who gave us initial seed support for this program and have supported it for many years ever since. I'd also like to thank another very important family foundation, the Michael and Karen Fuckett's Family Foundation, who are the leading supporters of all of our seniors' initiatives. And we have the executive director of the foundation, Carly Vuckets, here to say a few words. Over to you, Carly. Hi, everybody. My name is Carly Vuckets, and I am a very proud supporter and cheerleader for the Sharing Dance Seniors program, including the Sharing Dance for People with Parkinson's. 
a few years ago, I was in a meeting with Mavis Staines and Katherine Greger, and they introduced me to the program that they were doing for people with Parkinson's, um, free classes every Tuesday. And it really pulled at my heartstrings because I don't think they knew it at the time, but I had just uh, recently before that meeting lost my grandfather to a 20 year battle with Parkinson's. And so some of my fondest memories of my grandfather were dancing at weddings with him and, and how much he lit up every time he got on a dance floor. And so a few years ago, I got invited to join one of the classes and see, it, see the participants in action. And there was nothing better. It just really warmed my heart what was going on and how warm and welcoming all the participants were, not only during the class, but after the class. And it's been really remarkable to see this program grow um, and blossom into sharing dance for seniors programs. Uh, I've been lucky enough to attend a few classes over the years and meet some of the participants, including uh, one of my friends, Ruthie, who I, I know you heard from earlier. Um, and it's just beautiful to see the impact that these classes have had on people's spirits. And I know every time that I show up to a class, it really brightens my day. So I understand why people love them so much. I'm thrilled that NBS um, has these programs at its core and will continue to do these programs. So thank you to all involved. And uh, I look forward to whenever that next class is and meeting more of the participants, hopefully. Have a good one, everybody. Take care. I'm uh, joining in uh, National Ballet Senior Dance Program. It's 2018. When dancing, I am. Uh, for, I forgot it's everything, every problem. It's very energetic and very happy. I would like to say thank you for National Ballet School for giving uh, this opportunity for us. I joined the Dancing with Parkinson's program at the National Ballet School about two years ago. I was looking for something that I could move my body and also find other people I could connect with, and I found that in this program. The teachers are wonderful. They're full of patience and boundless energy. Uh, the room where we dance is beautiful with sunlight and a grand piano playing live music. I found that I could express my own creativity. When I dance, I feel connected to others and can express myself through mood, music and movement. And I represent the many, many ethnocultural seniors in Ottawa who have made sharing dance a part of their daily life, irrespective of language, culture and ethnicity. Sharing dance has even brought us closer together during this very, very difficult time of COVID-19 and Black Lives Matters movement. We would like to thank Sharing Dance for giving us this opportunity to dance with them and would like to inspire others to continue dancing with us. Thank you. As an active volunteer and instructor at Dancing with Parkinson's, I wanted to be a part of an organization that provides classes to seniors and that's how I discovered the NBS volunteer program in late 2017. Being a volunteer has been an amazing experience where I got to meet new friends, and connect to people through movement. When I dance, I feel more aware of my body and I immerse into a new world full of possibilities. I found for myself sharing dance is a fantastic experience and it allows me to have a sense of well-being. The seniors that dance with me shares this very viewpoint that I am expressing at this very moment. 
Happy Seniors Month from Sprint Senior Care at Pine Villa. We've been participating in the Sharing Dance program since spring 2019. It is such an enjoyable and accessible program. Uh, we can't thank you enough for it. It brings so much joy into our clients' lives. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. We've made it to the final dance for today. We have a number of different classes here at the school. Some of them stay seated, some of them have standing portions. So for today, for this final dance, please choose to do it however is comfortable for you. We'll start today by reaching one arm across our body, up and over, and opening. That's it. And you can choose today if you'd like to keep that in front of your body, that's fine too. And then we'll try the same motion with the other arm. So feel that energy that we've been working on today, that energy up and then opening beside you. That's it. And feel free to use your eye line as well. We'll try that with both arms up and opening. That's it. A nice breath as you're doing that. And then we'll take a moment to bring our hands to our heart and open it to everyone who's dancing along with us today. And then you can imagine all of the different people who are dancing with us today across Canada. So we'll pretend that we can see them and give them a wave goodbye. And you can point and wave anywhere. You might see someone, you <laughs> might not. That's okay. Reach and point. And to finish today, we'll reach our arms up, up, and open like so and one final thank you from our hearts that's it wonderful let's try that our final dance for today with craig ready and starting with one arm reach it and open Lovely. And the other arm up. And both arms lift. Hands to your heart. And open. And we'll find someone over there. And over there. And we'll take both arms together, deep breath in, and our final thank you. Lovely, that was wonderful, everyone. A huge thank you to Sharice and to Craig and to all of you for dancing along with us today. It was so much fun. We hope to see you soon. But before you go, let's hear from John. Thank you for dancing with us today. That was so much fun. If you'd like to do some more dancing at home, please go to our website where you can access resources just like these to keep you dancing all through the summer. And if you'd like to watch a little bit more dance, it's your turn to fall in love with ballet. That's another resource we have on our website where you can see MBS's professional students performing incredible new works of choreography all from the comfort of your home. So thanks again for dancing, keep dancing, and have a great summer. I've realized that dance is like food to me. I need it every day. I need to dance, to see dance, to learn and learn about dance. It makes me feel connected to my body, to the space around me, to the earth, and to people who have found joy in dance ever since time began. Dance nourishes me. When I dance, I feel the whole world falls away. I am in communion with my God and with Mother Earth. We dance together in unison. We dance together in prayer. We dance together with the graceful movements that time and age allows. When I dance, I feel free, ageless, and euphoric. While I line dance with friends, I most often dance in the arms of my partner of 50 years. He leads, I follow, as we've done since high school, but now with more finesse. I feel as one with him, with the music, the musicians. Dance lets my body speak while I lose myself.
Hi, my name is Nicole, and I have been so fortunate to work with the Parkinson's classes at MBS. Dance for me has always inspired happiness and strength, but working with the seniors' classes has showed me that a huge component of dance is a sense of agency. Every week, the dancers teach me what it means to take some agency back, to move how your body wants to move, and to be proud of what it can do. The warmth, resilience, and talent of the dancers is infectious, and seeing their growth from week to week is a testament to their strength. These classes are one of the most valuable facets of the dance community, and I feel very lucky to be able to be a part of it.